they may look cute, tiny, delicate, even harmless. A symbol of good luck in many cultures, but don't let their adorable appearance fool you. Beneath their spotted shells, ladybird beetles are some of the most fearsome predators in the insect kingdom. With razor-sharp mandibles, deadly toxins, and an insatiable hunger for destruction, they devour entire insect populations, saving crops, dominating ecosystems, and striking fear into their prey. But here's the twist. These tiny warriors aren't just hunters. They are survivors, capable of freezing solid in winter, bleeding poison from their knees, and even faking their own deaths. So how did these miniature assassins become one of the most beloved and misunderstood insects on the planet? Join us as we unravel the shocking world of ladybird beetles, where beauty meets brutality and tiny wings conceal deadly secrets. For most of human history, people have seen ladybirds a symbol of luck, prosperity, and even divine protection. Farmers welcome them as guardians of crops and children are taught to handle them gently. But the truth is far more complex. Ladybird beetles belong to the beetle family Coccinellidae that encompasses over 6,000 known species found on every continent except Antarctica. They are characterized by their hemispherical convex bodies, often brightly colored with aposematic patterns that serve as a warning to predators, each with its own unique adaptations and hunting strategies. From the tiny black and red two-spotted ladybird to the giant 22-spot ladybird, these insects have evolved deadly skills that make them one of nature's most effective biological control agents. But what makes them so terrifying? Long before they grow their famous red and black shells, ladybird beetles begin their lives as ruthless killers. Their larvae roam plants like miniature monsters, devouring aphids, scale insects, and mealybugs by the thousands. A single ladybird beetle can consume up to 5,000 aphids in its lifetime, but their efficiency as hunters is no accident. Ladybird beetles have evolved into the perfect insect assassins. They are equipped with powerful mandibles that pierce and crush soft-bodied prey, sticky feet that allow them to climb plants effortlessly, acute vision to detect movement from surprising distances, and chemical camouflage to mask their scent from predators. For aphids, an encounter with a ladybird beetle means one thing, total annihilation. But they don't stop at aphids. Some ladybird species are omnivorous and have been observed feeding on pollen and even cannibalizing other ladybirds when food is scarce. But hunting is just one part of their story. Ladybird beetles are also masters of survival, using a deadly arsenal of tricks to escape predators. When threatened, they can play dead by lying motionless to fool enemies, release toxic, foul-smelling chemical that tastes terrible to predators, hibernate during winter where tens of thousands cluster together to conserve heat and survive extreme cold, and some species like the Asian harlequin ladybird can fly long distances in search of food and shelter. But even with these defenses, they still face one of their greatest threats yet, humans. Ladybirds may be nature's pest control, but their numbers are declining due to habitat destruction, climate change, and the overuse of pesticides. Ironically, the very creatures that protect our crops are being wiped out by human farming practices. But some species like the Harlequin ladybird have turned the tables by invading new territories and outcompeting native species, throwing ecosystems into chaos. Scientists are now studying how these beetles adapt to extreme conditions, looking for answers in their unique physiology Ladybird beetles are more than just pretty garden visitors. They are warriors, survivors, and ecosystem engineers. Without them, crops would be overrun by pests, food chains would collapse, and nature would be forever altered. But with climate change accelerating, can these tiny warriors adapt fast enough to survive the coming environmental shifts? So the next time you see one resting on your finger, remember, 
you're holding one of nature's most efficient killing machines. Tiny, beautiful, and deadly.